Hi guys, Tom the Comic Book Nerd here, and today I'm bringing you all the way back to the year 2015. So, the Marvel MCU is doing amazing, everybody knows who Stan Lee is, so Stan Lee decides to do an autobiography. As most comic book fans know by now, Stan Lee's not your average guy. So he didn't just decide to do any autobiography, he decided to do a graphic novel called Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible. And you could probably work out why that name, Amazing Spider-Man, Fantastic Four and the Incredible Hulk, all of which he had a hand in creating or he had artistic direction of where they were going throughout the years. Now, the autobiography is very much about his life, mixed in with lots of really nice artwork and colour through the fantasies that he made. It's sort of like an homage to his creativity and other, other creatives through the time, and also an homage to some of his most liked characters that he, Jack Kirby, and a lot of the pioneers in the 60s helped to usher in. It goes through the entire history of Marvel Comics, even before it was Marvel Comics, from the day he started. In fact, it even goes back to when he kept getting fired from odd jobs. He was a waiter, he was not very good at it, he was very lazy, by his own admission. It goes through his job life, it goes through his time at Marvel, his time with his wife, his children. But it's, it, but it's written like a Marvel story, which was, which was the thing that surprised me the most. It isn't written like somebody's life. It's so fantastical. Um, I'm not saying that it's not true, because it is, but I think a lot of it is embellished. There's, there's a certain page that, <laughs> that always sticks out in my mind when I talk about this book, and it is where he is staring down the offices of DC Comics, and he's there, like flames coming off his um, so the DC Comics Tower is like looming over him and he's there with like, I, I think it's Silver Surfer and he's like ready to do battle with the DC Comic Tower and I just, I think that <laughs> that's a beautiful representation for the relationship that he had with the competition throughout the, uh, throughout the years. I just thought that was a really nice way of phrasing things. There's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of really norm, normal scenes um, that are put through the kind of fantasy ringer, and they really translate well to the pages. And when you read it, if you're a fan of Stanley and you've read loads of Stanley comic or read his Stanley soapbox or watched interviews of him, you can really feel that he had a voice in this book. It really does feel like he is narrating his life and his creations. Now, one thing I will say for any Marvel historian, it's not a black and it's not a black and white look at Marvel. It is very much through his eyes. It's very very rose tinted. It's very well known at this point that not uh, that Jack Kirby and other creators were burnt by the fire that is Stanley. Felt like Stanley got a lot of the credit that they put in. This book's not going to fix that. And Stanley does mention that sometimes he got a lot of credit, but quite often he says, dot 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 creator, don't know why they left, but I want, you know, I want to clear the air. But it's always through like his, through his perspective. So like take that with a pinch of salt. This is Stan Lee's book, so he's not going to say, hey, I'd love to get any attention for Spider-Man. So da -da -da. you know, it's not going to be like that. He's through his interpretation, so if you're looking for like an apology and a, and a massive like memoriam to all of these other creators, you're not going to get that. But it's a really good read. I can argue that Stanley is a, is a fantastic, incredible, amazing um, human being and creative. So this book is a really good read, and especially considering now, unfortunately, he's passed away. This is a really nice memory to him, a really nice beacon. And I had a lot of fun with it. And if you find it anywhere or you want to pick it up on eBay, I highly suggest you do because it's a long graphic novel. It took me about a two hour plane journey and a little bit more to finish it. I think I read it in the taxi back and got a headache. Uh, it's a great, it's a great time. Um, I really enjoyed it. I've said it um, a lot in this video, so uh, I'm going to be editing a lot. So. 
that's all I've got to say about that really. So thanks a lot guys for tuning in again. As always, like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. I am going to try and be a bit more present on this platform again. I've kind of slipped and, and done like once a week, once every two weeks. I do want to put out a few more over the next week and try and get back and do some videos. So uh, stay tuned guys, have fun and see you later. I forgot the year of publication. So in the year 20XX, I'll put the year of publication down below. I can't remember which. You can't be saying that. I'm such a professional. Oh, I can't wait for your bloopers, mate. I'm not having bloopers on this one. Oh yeah you are, this is a perfect blooper. <laughs>